What's up, superhumans? BT here. I'm so pumped for this video because I've got two huge updates I know you're dying to hear about. <laughs> okay, actually, the first one you probably really don't care about, but trust me, it ties in with the second update, and I know that's why you click the, click the video. First of all, my weight is finally good. I am down eight pounds. If you've been watching for a little while, uh, about a month ago, I almost got disqualified from a jujitsu tournament for being overweight. Shit. In dialing in the nutrition, it led me to the second update. The whole reason you clicked on this video. So let's dive in. One of the coolest things about buying into the Whoop system is knowing that for years down the road, you're going to get updates. We've seen things like the stress monitor added. We've seen things like the strength trainer added. Now you can build and do entire workouts and keep track of reps, sets, weights, etc., all in the app. It's pretty amazing. But one thing we haven't seen that many of you have been requesting is nutritional updates like how do I track my macros proteins fats carbs and nutrients well now you can kinda let me explain okay so the other day I was finishing some jujitsu training when my buddy Vincent was showing me his whoop data and his journal and I noticed that there was a section for auto upload data for macros which I had no clue about so first of all everybody give a small golf clap to Vincent for bringing this to my attention. Somehow it just you know, flew under the radar. So Vince explained that basically using Chronometer, which is a really popular nutritional app, it allows you to track all of your foods, you could, through Apple Health integration, allow Whoop to automatically upload all of that data to your journal and you can see it every morning, which is pretty awesome. I did some deep diving and here's what you need to know. First, this is an Apple Health app integration. So as of right now, sorry Android users, this is only available for iPhone users. Secondly, it uploads certain behaviors if tracked on third-party apps to the journal. So this isn't information that's going to be compiled and put into the strain slash recovery algorithm as of right now, it's just going into the journal, but there's a very huge pro to that, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Lastly, the third-party apps that will work with this integration, Chronometer, like I said before, an app called Lose It, and then you're probably familiar with an app called MyFitnessPal. Okay, so here's how to set everything up and make sure it's working. First, you're gonna need to make sure that your Whoop app is up to date. That's very simple, here's how to do it. I've got a widget up at the top that just opens the Whoop app. If I come into more on the bottom right hand corner of the screen and come into device settings, you're going to see status and advanced. I want to click on advanced and then I want to come down and check for firmware. It says firmware check. I'm going to select that. It says checking, no new updates. And that's because I'm currently up to date on the firmware. Now we want to make sure that the Whoop app is communicating with the Apple Health app. So after I've hit that X, below device settings, you're going to see app settings. Click on that and then go down to where you see integrations and click on that. Next, you'll see Apple Health Strava Training Peaks. We're going to make sure that Apple Health app is turned on. And because I've already got it turned on, it's already connected all of the permissions have been allowed. So you just need to make sure you do that, all right? Once that's done, now we need to go into the Apple Health app. I'm just gonna swipe down, that brings up my search. I'm gonna type in health, click on health. In the top right hand corner, you'll see your Memoji or your profile name, click on that. And under privacy, you're gonna see apps, make sure you click on that. Down at the bottom, I can see whoop, so I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna turn on all, or the permissions, the specific permissions you wanna give it access to. All right, so once you've done that, now we just need to make sure we've integrated Chronometer or your, whichever one you're going to use, like MyFitnessPal or Lose It. You wanna make sure that's integrated with the Apple Health app. So now I'm going to swipe down, bring up my search bar, I'm gonna type in Chronometer, select that. In the bottom right hand corner, you can see settings. I'm gonna tap on that. You can see connect apps and devices. 
click on there. Apple Health is up. So I'm going to select that. And again, I've already allowed it all of these permissions. You just need to do the same. Then once you've done that, you're basically done. I know that seems like a lot, a lot of steps, but it, honestly, it's pretty easy. You can always rewind this and watch it again until you've got it. I'm sure my fitness pal and lose it is going to be quite similar. Okay, so now when you track your food for one day, the next day when you wake up and it brings up the journal, you're gonna see in blue the pre-filled from Apple Health. So you're gonna see your macros, your proteins, fats, and carbs all put down there and what other uh, and whatever other nutritional information you've wanted to track. Now, why is this a big deal? Because it might not seem like it's a big deal if it's not integrating with your strain or your recovery per se via the algorithm. Well, what really separates Whoop from so many other wearables is the journal. The journal allows you to track over a long period of time, years, very granular data that you want to kind of self-experiment with. It's honestly really impressive. So if I wanted to track my macros and see how certain macros in certain amounts are affecting my sleep and my recovery, I can do that. I think it's really impressive and I think you're gonna really enjoy it. Hopefully, whoop, if you see this, we really need to start getting some of these updates out to non-iPhone users. Android needs some love. So please, let's make sure that happens. Also, if you've got any questions or comments on other topics you wanna to see me cover, please let me know down in the comments below. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.